Hello all, I am Sai Kumar and welcome to the lecture on Relational Descriptors. In this video, we are going to discuss what are called Relation Descriptors, different types and their implementation. Now, we expand rewriting rules concept in the context of Relational Descriptors. The main purpose of the Relational Descriptors is to capture basic repetitive patterns in a boundary or a region. We follow certain rules in order to describe the boundary or region. We can see the rewriting rules as shown in the figure. Here, A and S are variables and A comma B are constants. Here, S is defined as A into capital A, capital A is defined as small b into capital S and capital A is defined as B. According to some these rules, we can code the given uh, structure. Let us consider some simple example staircase that has been segmented out of the image. Assume that the structure has been segmented out of the image. Here, this is a striker which is not coded before. Here, we represent horizontal line as A and vertical line as B. So, after coding, we will get A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. So, A and B are two primitive elements. The main property of coded structure is the repetitiveness of the element. First, we define two primitive elements for two levels of the staircase. We may code as shown in the figure. If we observe carefully, the most obvious property of the code structure is the repetitiveness of AB. So here AB structure is repeated. Let's see how the repeated pattern is coded by using this rule. Rule 1. Starting symbol S is can be replaced by A and variable A. Rule 2. And 3 indicate the variable A in turn can be replaced by B and S or alone B. Replacing A by B S leads to the first rule and the procedure may be repeated. Replacing A and B terminates the process as there are no more variables to be preceded. So, to understand this rule, how this work looks, let us look into some examples. Consider rule 1 as code 1, rule 2 as code 2, rule 2 as code 3. We should maintain the relation between A and B preserved as the process continues. Now, if we observe the middle figure, the code given is AB into AB. So, we need to represent in terms of number that is 1, 2, 1, 3. Now, we will see how we got 1, 2, 1, 3. The first element is A. So, capital S is the first variable. So, we will represent capital S equal to A into A. So, here for A, we got A into A. Now, next element is B. So, we should observe whether it is the last element or not. So, here it is not the last element. So, we, we take capital A equal to root 2, B into S. So, instead of capital A, we write B into S. Now, the next element is also the not, not last element. So, instead of A, we write S equal to A into A. So, we got A into B into A into capital A. And the, if we observe last element, this is the last element, B. Okay, instead of A, we write root, using root 3, B. So, first here we use rule 1. Here we used rule 2, here we used rule 1, here we used rule 3. That's why we got the code 1, 2, 1, 3. Similarly, we will get the code for 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3 for this figure. So, whatever may be the uh, pattern we get, the first element we will get 1, next will 2, next will 1, and the last element will get 3. So, the pattern will be like this 1, 2, 1, 2, and so on 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. These strings are 1D strings. Application of the rules to image required an establishment of methods for reducing 2D position relation to 1D. Most applications of the strings to image descriptions are based on the idea of extracting connected to line segment from the objects of interest. One approach is to follow the contour of an object and code the result with the segment of the specified line. In the figure, we code the boundary region by direct line segments. Here, if we observe the boundary, this is the boundary taken from the segmented image. So, we are having a different curves. For, for each curve, we are represented with each line segment. Each line segment is having one tail and one uh, head. So, this is the cyclic structure which will end at the starting point. the given approach now we will consider only single line segment from uh, head to tail this is called abstract primitive tail in the figure we see some operations among primitive so here we have a plus b a minus b a into b a convolution of b so these are the 
operation that we can perform according to the a structure we need to do let us generate a structure step by step by following previous rules explained in the figure as we can see here the head of a is connected to tail of b so it is a plus b these are the some rules that we have followed during structure formation so two heads are connecting then it is called a minus b when the two heads are emerging from the tail then it is a into b when two heads are emerging from a single tail and they both connect to each other then it is called a convolution b so these are the symbols of a b c d when we want upward arrow we can take d as not d let's say we are starting with from point t to h this is downward arrow so from here we will get downward arrow as d now if we go to the second picture t to this corner we will get as this as a c from this figure we will see it is as a c from here to h this is upper arrow from that we will get not d now again in third figure we consider this as tail and this as head from this upper downward arrow so it is called d from here to here it is c we will get as c from here to it is not d so d plus c plus not d here and here so these two are considered as a plus b from this figure from from this figure it is considered as a plus b star c if we combine both of them it will become d plus c plus not d star a plus b star c so there is another model that is tree structure uh, another form is tree structure where we represent the inner region of the mn this method is used to represent the inner major uh, inner region of the segment region let's say we are having the boundary like this inside this we have dollar we have nodes and these are also called nodes but this is the main node this is the parent node a set of words describing the node is the thing so for example this is the parent node so it is placed uh, here dollar after the inside that node uh, inside that node we have a and c so one side we are representing with a another side we are representing with c inside a there is only one b so from a it is converted to continue to b whereas in c we have sub regions like e and d here e and d in c we have e and d so from c we are getting d and e but inside the e again we are having f from e we are getting f so oh, <coughs> this is the uh, formation of tree structure from this we can code the uh, get the code tree code like this so this is all about relational descriptors thank you for watching